Okay, so before we begin the video, be sure to leave a like to show your support on the video, subscribe if you are new, and turn on your notifications for me, that way you never miss a video. Okay, so now that that is said, I hope you all enjoy the video, and here you go. Let's go, first day back on PS4 and the first thing I get is a kill. But anyways, what is going on guys? It's your boy Bato here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are obviously playing some Black Ops 3 on the PlayStation 4. I haven't played uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in actually forever so I'm obviously going to be the most shittiest player to ever walk on the Call of Duty planet. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Why is everyone so fucking good? You know, so I always wonder what Call of Duty you guys would enjoy coming from me. Because like I said, every YouTuber has that different game that every other person just enjoys. Like with FaZe Jev, people enjoy MW3, MW2, a little bit of Black Ops 3. But when it comes to FaZe Rain, people enjoy MW2 BO, er, and BO2. So when it comes to me, I've asked a couple of friends, like, what do you prefer? Like, out of all Call of Duties, everyone fucking said MW2. I, I kind of understand why. But MW2, I'm really happy that made the list because that means I could play it more on my channel and that's awesome. But I want to know in your guys' opinion, what Call of Duty do you like to see for me? And I kind of feel like Black Ops 3 has to be on the list because every time I made a Black Ops 3 video, it just happened to be so fucking funny. I don't know what it is about me and Black Ops 3, but for some reason, it's always really funny and always gets a ton of views and gets a ton of likes and you guys still show much support. So I feel like Black Ops 3 has got to be on the list. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! Dude, I think I remember why I stopped playing this fucking game. I, I, I remember now. I fucking hate it! Dude, there's more tryhards on this fucking shit game than there is on MW2. Like, I'm fucking about to... Look it. Look, I'm gonna fucking go on Xbox 360. I'm about to go fucking back. I swear, I'm getting fucking pissed right now. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> fucking love this game. <laughs> Dude, what? That didn't hit? Of course. This game is gonna make me fucking cry. I swear to God, I have not fucking been this pissed off over a video game in my in fucking not my entire life in fucking forever. I have not been this fucking pissed off in forever, dude. Get a fucking life! I fucking hate that gun. That sh fucking retarded shit in there. I should. You're corner camping. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> what? You wanna fucking use shotguns, little bitch? I'll fucking use shotguns with you. I'll use fucking shotguns. I don't give a shit. Let's fucking go. Come on, bitch. I'm fucking ready. I will use a sh Oh, that's a Cerebus. Nope. Fucking bitch. Next. What the fuck kind of spawn was that? Dude, this fucking thing is game. I fucking hate this game. I'm never playing this fucking shit again, I swear. Oh my god, and then there, people don't even trick shot. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about in today's video is actually like nothing, like I said, nothing too crazy. It was just something to, you know, make the video and stuff like that. But I wanted to talk about something that happened to me again, like fucking two days ago, because CSGO is fucking retarded. And not to mention, I'm already getting fucking butt fucked in the ass by the shit game. So obviously, it's going to make it even freaking worse. So I played Counter Strike. If you guys don't know what Counter Strike is, it's a dope PC game. If you don't know what Counter Strike is, it's pretty sad. You need to get out more because that's the only thing I can tell you. It's a, it's a dope PC game. And in Counter Strike, you get nine. 
knives, okay? And knives are like the most expensive things you can get. They're like the best and rarest things you can get in the game. And I got a knife, okay? I didn't win it or anything. I bought it and it was like 50 bucks. It was a Safari Mesh Flip Knife Battle Scar. Very shit knife, but really, you know, fucking cool. Like, I, I at least it wasn't a normal default knife. That's what I was happy about. So I saw my knife was actually decreasing in price. And I saw another knife that was around probably the same price as my normal knife. The Flip Knife that I had now. And it was like a, it was like a Case Hardened Falchion Knife or something like that. And it was really fucking dope and looked really nice and I was like damn dude I think I want that I need to make some money though by selling my knife to you know get enough to buy the knife so I went on CSGO lounge and CS lounge is like a place where you can actually buy skins sell skins trade skins do whatever you can to help the CSGO community and shit like that so you guys can help each other out well apparently this guy found me okay and he wanted to buy my uh, knife for about 50 bucks steam code okay now obviously no one's gonna trust each other with stuff like this no one's gonna send the money first no one's gonna trade the knife first and you can't trade them at the same time because it's a fucking code so what he did dude people were coming up with some stupid shit now i swear to god people are coming up with some stupid shit to get knives now and to make a ton of money and it actually pisses me off like i actually think i might start scamming on csgo i'm not even lying so if you catch me scamming on cs just know i fucking warned you thank you t martin for stopping csgo gambling i just had to throw that out there by the way not blaming everything on t martin but he's basically the whole reason no one can gamble anymore on csgo just saying but he didn't trust me and i didn't trust him so they came up with this thing called a middleman and it's like this thing on steam and it's a group full of like five to ten people and they're like very and they're like high rank they have like professional shit badass rep everyone in the comments saying it's fucking amazing legit as fuck right and the point of it was basically that i give something to the middleman and the guy gives something to the middleman and we trade it off and that's how we do it equal like either you know we can either both lose our shit or we could both gain our shit you know the guy can either be a dick and leave or the guy can be like okay it's a fair trade you guys switch simple since my knife wasn't 50 bucks he wanted me to throw in a couple of extra things you know to make it 50 bucks so i threw in like six cases because i had a bunch of cases and i didn't need them because i don't have money to buy keys so i was like here i'll give you six cases and my knife and he's like all right cool that sounds dope so the middle man told me he's like all right is the trade done everything good to go and he's like okay here's what you do you click on this link and you do the trade here you do everything all that bullshit and i was like all right whatever i sent the trade accepted it and then you know i trusted this guy okay as soon as i push accept i write him a message and i was like okay i accepted it and that's kind of the thing how it's supposed to do because i don't want you guys to be like yo you're fucking retarded why didn't he go first it was supposed to go at the same fucking time and apparently he lied to me i pushed accept they left they both disconnected to the group chat and I was like, wow, I just got fucking scammed. I lost my fucking knife again because I used to have a butterfly knife and I got scammed to that too by CSGO Wild Support. Fucking fake ass motherfuckers. So as soon as they disconnected, they reconnected out of nowhere. They reconnected to the chat and put like, what happened? What do you, what happened? You know, stuff like that. And I was like, did they really not scam me or something like that? Like, did we really get disconnected or something? They're like, yeah, we got disconnected. It's the Steam Network and stuff like that. Check it. They sent me a website and they said it was down. And I was like, okay, that's believable. It was a fake website, by the way, just saying. And he told me, he's like, before I can give you the 50 bucks, I have to wait for the middleman call sign and stuff like that and i was like all right and he the middleman messaged me and he was like you need to donate you need to do the cases too because that's the trade and i was like um okay like i i kind of believe this guy still because i'm fucking retarded i gave him six cases as soon as i clicked accept he said easy cases and left okay and i fucking just cried i can't I didn't cry but i was about to cry like I, when you when you have a knife it's like your fucking baby i swear to god so i actually just so happen to have the two people's profile links and stuff like that and everything so if you guys want to you know shoot them a report for me so that way no one ever gets scammed ever again in csgo community i'd really appreciate that but yeah i got fucking scammed again on csgo i'd rather just not do anything on csgo anymore i think next time i get a knife i'm never fucking trading it unless it's to a fucking friend like i'm never trading my knife or any skin for that matter ever again because i also lost my hyper beast up, which was like 50 bucks because it was factory new and i lost that to some fucking dick on csgo as well people are fucking assholes i swear to god okay so also i did end up hitting 100 likes on my gamma video so i'm actually going to be doing the gamma challenge very soon i think that the video is at like 105 likes right now which is fucking dope that you guys are actually down to see that my videos have been doing very very well lately especially with the likes you guys have been raping that like button and i think that is just amazing the amount of support you guys have been doing the comments the support like it's just amazing i actually can't believe it and i just really hope that it never stops because it's support like that that just keeps the motivation going and that just makes me want to do more into this and put more into a grind more of everything i made so many videos because i was in such a good mood to make all of them like i think i had like the whole like four day weekend off because i go friday saturday sunday okay three day plus thursday because i took the day off thursday i just been grinding videos and i couldn't really make any more videos because i made so many i just had to relax because the support you guys are bringing me i'm just like dude you guys want endless videos but 
please just keep that support coming that stuff means so much to me but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching today's video i really hope you all did enjoy please leave a like to show you support and subscribe if you are new because i upload daily videos i will leave a little poll down in the top right corner with the eye you already know how that works just vote there i'm gonna try to see what call of duty you guys like to see me play i'm gonna put like a list of four call of duties i think that's the most you can do if i can do more than four i'll put all the call of duties you guys to vote and the top voted two are the ones i'm probably gonna play the most on this channel and i'll probably play like other ones but i want you guys to let me know what your most favorite call of duty is that you like to see me play because i do play a ton of call of duties and i want to know which one you guys like seeing the most but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching i love you so much i hope you have a fantastic day and bato is out peace no!